Would have been in the early 1960s. I don't remember the exact year. But the, the real motivation initially was simply an opportunity to learn, and I see this as basically a learning organization. But it's more than just studying something. It's the interaction among people with the communication across professions. And increasingly, I see the organization as having an international component that I see as very positive. And it's been interesting to see women take more of a role, not just in speech, but in surgery and dentistry and re uh, biology and so on. I, I, I think we're almost a, a model for the world to follow in terms of res mutual respect and, and interaction across these different groups. Learning first and friendship second, I think. And the learning, of course, involves not just learning from others in my own field, but across these various disciplines. Okay, again, I think that the publication program and the convention programs convey a tremendous amount of information and the opportunity not only to listen to speakers and to uh, read, but also to talk with the people who are doing the work and to see demonstrations of, of different things. It's just basically an opportunity to learn up-to-date information. Uh, academia for a long time emphasized teaching, research, and service. And I was privileged to do quite a bit of research, much of it with funding from the National Institute of Dental Research. But I also kept a hand in therapy and then teamwork. And uh, I think that ACPA enhanced that, uh, those contributions. I have edited two journals and been very active in this association, uh, whether I've contributed 